Mustafa, Hobby, I want you both to write a proposal on how best you can handle this program if it was yours to produce. I am sure that that warning was not given to you out of spite. I suggest you go and resume that report. You're very admirable and efficient, young <clears throat> Is there anything you need to find out? No, I was just flipping through. What thing would they talk be say? Anything where they want to do for our town. Whether not to build or not to develop. Mm -hmm. Now we go do and buy ourselves. Yes. I'm going to go. So if they want to bring electricity for this town, no problem. But now our own person go handle the contract. Yes. Now, and who make you walk See the one where they cause trouble. We don't hear say the contract don't enter for another person. Yeah. 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 Best way one can enter this and one can do one work. What we see up? They love to try them. Oh, I'm a clown. I be quick. The station brought to you by Nescafe. Discover the quality drinking water. Nestle Pure Life. So pure. So safe. So refreshing. For purity, safety and health. Drink Nestle Pure Life. For pure refreshment and satisfaction. Nestle Pure Life. Quality water from Nestle. You know, you go bring fish when you come back. Oh, fish. Mr. Briggs, about the Niger Delta Forum, what do you suggest be done with it to make it more relevant to the needs of the people of the Niger Delta? Thank you very much, Presenter. You see, true development begins in the mind. And if the NDF really wants to succeed in its mandate, it should focus more on developing the minds of the people through education. Having said that, how much attention do you intend to devote to education in the upcoming Niger Delta Conference. Nothing exciting seems to be coming out of this interview. Sounds like the same old speeches. My guy, I just didn't want to be the first person to say it. I can't help but if the report fell blank. Every question I asked the man, he gave a standard factory issue answer. I guess you have a point there. If you ask me, this Niger Delta Conference they're preparing for is just whitewash. The ordinary people never seem to benefit from all these so-called initiatives. Come on, what do you know about the Niger Delta? Didn't you know I served there? I saw life what these people go through. Nobody them say, I'll be tired, I lie. You know, like my brother, considering what comes out from that part of the country, the lives many people are living is pitiful. They can't get food from the land, they can't get food from the water. Oil pollution has messed everything up. Those guys haven't really got a fair deal. But apart from that, some people should show more initiative in trying to empower themselves instead of waiting for other people to do it for them. Inka, I won't argue with that. I won't argue with that. But they need to be careful too because when people feel powerless and frustrated, it's easier for someone to come and take advantage of them. Uh -huh. God, please let this editorial meeting put an end to this debate. That's not right of this conference too soon. I get some major things done. Never yeah. can tell. Yeah, seeing is believing my sister. 
I can cover all three stories before three o'clock. Thank you. I still have one book launch for coverage. They are not groundbreaking items, but they pay the bills. And fortunately or unfortunately, we all have to eat. Oh. You must leave for toilet now. <laughs> <laughs> I hope I haven't missed too much. No, you're right on cue. There's this book launch. <laughs> It's the last assignment. The last? Yeah. What about the Niger Delta conference? John is already assigned. The consequences of eating too much and stooling too long. <laughs> <laughs> Can't we rearrange things? I would really like to go for that conference. There's a book conference. <laughs> Abi, Bolo. You didn't hear when I called your own name, but you heard when I called Bolo. This thing called love. Mm. Have you heard that the station is about to employ a junior reporter? Yeah. I had had a whisper and between you and I, I'm quite interested in the junior. Really? Yeah. That makes the two of us. Do you think we should tell Madam Aisha to consider us? Mm. Oh. I make a nice shoes. It's like you're immune to hard times. <laughs> Wow, Johnny. Good morning. Am I just late? Uh, Johnny, I finished the first draft. Yeah. Uh, my proposal for the new show, the one I wanted you to help me with. Oh. Oh, F.A., yeah. I'm really in a hurry. I'm almost late for my report. Okay. Sorry to bother you. Morning, Jerry. Is that the proposal for your show? I think you should finish it real fast. It looks as if Essie has finished as I just saw her showing it to Johnny. And she's going to show it to Mr. Sam. What about yours? I don't want to become um, I'm not interested anymore. When did you change your mind? This morning. Well, morning, Derry. This is not my proposal for the show. And I cannot finish it fast. Neither do I wish to show it to Jenny. Plus, Mr. Osaro isn't expecting it today. But thanks for the interest. Look, you won't be happy if she catches you napping. How's your day? Warm. The weather is going to be hot today. Where are you put that comes? LTP is bringing money. I'm glad about that. But they take away top good reporters from top stories. Inkas had to cover three LTPs today and Tari is doing the book lunch. He's a witch of your talent. And they're also taking on proper stories. Once we hire a couple of junior reporters, they'll pay for themselves by covering mainly LTPs. And that will free up our more experienced reporters. Hmm, that's a relief. I've been worried that my stories will suffer because of the LTPs. And if you ask me, I'd also say we need more hands in the marketing team. But you know the real trouble is finding agreeable sponsors. The marketing team does their best. And Osaro, how is the new show coming? It looks like Skylight is willing to, to sponsor that. As long as they like our presentation. I trust that um, Effie and Mustafa will come up with some very good ideas. Yeah. I have to get to the control. I think uh, your ideas are quite interesting. Really? Mm. I like the segments focusing on the important tools for empowering a woman. That's a relief. I, I thought I hadn't passed up the message across properly. Well done. It's a shame you can't be my producer. We'll get on so well. Yeah, thanks very much. Good news. We ourselves will join the warning sanctions. Let me see that. Is it not a good thing? You don't want them to withdraw it? You don't know what is going on. Uh, Oga, Oga, I need to go to Potako to cover the conference. So you said I'd meet him this morning. But an equally able reporter will be going. It shouldn't matter who covers it. After all, there are no personal issues there. Or oh, are there? No personal issues. I just need to go there and see what it is they are talking about. I want to be sure a full report is being done. This is about my people. Trust me. Charlie will do a full report. Yes, I see you already. No, Yes. Should I test you? Yes. Are you ready for it? Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. Sandazwa. Ah, wa salamu alaikum. Yo. 
Allah kan apa? Allah kan tu apa aku? Ya kadi. Go di Allah. Jo get the notice from baby BRC. Allah de. Please excuse us. I will help you in a minute. Okay. Okay. What made the BRC withdraw their sanctions? At my advice, you know, your station can now breathe easy. You see? You thought that my work in there will bring problems for us. See the advantages now? I don't want any advantages or disadvantages just because you're working for the BRC. Please, can we keep work at work? Don't hurt you. It looks like the whole of Nigeria will be here for this interview today. Hello, good morning. Um, I'm here for the job interview. Okay, here. Fill this and join the rest over there. Okay, thank you. They all look sharp. They're so young. I just saw some of the things if he is writing. Are they different from yours? What? Where did you get this? You left them on my desk yesterday. What's this sudden thing with medical stuff? Are you sick or something? Or something? Why don't you go see a doctor? Ah, ah, Musti. What is your own? I beg, just leave me, Jerry. Ah. Musti, someone just came in on why Geology Corps and the Minister of Education are finally going to have their discussions. Well, that's a good thing, isn't it? Uh, except that the date clashes with the Niger Delta Conference. I place a lot of emphasis on the working experience. And your CV here says you have experience in reporting. Can I see some of those experience? I'll probably do better than most of this. You mean the applicants outside? Oh, hello, Yinka. I hear you're planning to apply for a reporting job. Yes, I'll probably do more than those guys out there. I guess, but should Madame give you that job, will you feel like you really earned it? What do you mean? You see, when I came in today, I got talking with some of the applicants. You see the lady in skirt and shirt? She's a graduate, international relations. The one in braids? Diploma, business admin. Yeah, now, when the station advertised for people with university degrees. Tell me, do you know of any company looking for professionals that were advertised for non-graduate personnel? I believe in the see? power of the media That's to it. affect society positively, because I know there's a correlation between information and social development and by giving facts to the people one is contributing to the development of the mind which is the greatest kind of development john is it true what i'm hearing i don't know what you're hearing that you're no longer interested in covering ajala and the minister and that you can do both that and the conference it's good to see that the roman network still operates as efficiently as any news station <laughs> excellent the road is now clear for me all i have to do is talk to Osaro. <laughs> Sir, okay. you need to see what I've written so far. I just need your guidance on some design matters. I'm supposed to be neutral. Just take a look at it, that's all. Effie, I have a better idea. I'll take a long look at it when you are Mustafa finish. My idea for this program has four segments that cater for what most women care about and... Effie, this string feels like soliciting. Um, um, Mr. Sarah, about the employment of the junior reporter, I can report to... Bobby. We're a very good weather reporter, and it happens that you're the only one we have here. Don't deprive us of our scarce human resources. Sir, I can I can handle the both of them. Just give me. I, I won't take too much of your time. Just, just uh, sir, sir, um, the conference sir. will be covered by Journey. No, but he is Journey. Uh, excuse me, sir, but he. Oh God. If it's not Tari or B or Ife, come in. Sir, it's a pressure group trying to help people in underdeveloped areas to do things to help themselves rather than wait for help. I think it would be a good idea to do a, a comprehensive feature on the potential of growth across the country. Emeka, get to the point. So that upcoming conference in Niger Delta, I think it would be a good angle to approach the story from. To find out what the people there want to do to help themselves. Now you two want to go for the Niger Delta conference. Are they distributing dollars there or what? Uh, uh, so I think it would be a good starting point for such a feature. I mean, don't you think so? Well... Yeah, they seem like a good one. Charlie will be leaving for the conference in a few days. Would you want to tell him about this idea? Hey, ma'am. Cecilia. What are you doing here? Do you work here? Yes, I'm the accounts boss here. Ah, if I knew you worked here, I'd have asked to get this job for me. I thought the normal way to get a job was to apply for one. Besides, which job are we talking about? The reporter's job? Ah, uh, I have to go. Why?
Cecilia. You know that lady? Yes. She worked at Horizon Television. Such a nice, innocent girl. Was she a good reporter? Reporter? No, she was a typist, not a reporter. A typist? She told us she was a reporter. Hmm. Newspaper indeed. That wouldn't happen to be one of CD's romance novels, what's would it? Your, what's your own now? How can you just go around and start with people? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I, I was just joking around. I didn't know you would mind. It was Bolo. He insisted we should, you know, skin on skin. Skin on skin? And you gave him without thinking of health consequences? How about me? What are you, a kid? Don't you have a say in the matter? What was I supposed to do? You know how men are when they get excited. Yeah, we're talking about your body here. You've got to be the boss in that department. Now you might have an STD. So, what's the guy saying? I didn't tell him. Look, what if it's not an STD? What else could it be? It could be an infection from the toilet or something of that nature, in which case it would be my fault because I gave it to him. Hope you go find out. Go see a doctor. Mustafa, I'm scared of finding out. Plus, it's embarrassing. I imagine having a doctor checking you like that and just... Obi, as a baby, you should be doing the checking thing regularly. You, you don't wait until it's late. Or would you, would you rather be embarrassed or dead? The minister invites a geological so a one-on-one -on -one dialogue. If you ask me, I think this is the story of the day. It would even be more of a story if you invited them here both for serious questions. You sound like you like to cover it. I wouldn't mind. Oh, that means Major Delta conference story is free and I can Fine, I'm on it. I'd like to be on it, sir. I'm sorry. I spoke already. I have something else for you. Did you find anything interesting in the ones I gave you before? Um, yes, I did. So what universities and courses did you like? All of them. All of them? I, I have been busy. Busy? Well, I suppose whatever it is that you've been busy doing is more important to you than getting ahead. Good luck. Hey. Hey, hi. Um, Mustafa. I just saw a fake going through your files right now. I hope you did not leave your proposals in it. Toby, let her see it. Look, I hope yours is better than ours. Obi, I'm not into the competition thing, okay? Let her compete with herself. Okay, I'm doing my own stuff. She cannot. Then you will not get the show. Talk. Sir, can I see you for a minute? I have to fortify myself. Oh. Can you give me a minute? Where's the boss? I guess I need another one. Don't worry, mine can wait. Sir, I understand there's no reason why I must be the one to cover the conference, but I would really like to do it. The issues will be tackling me a lot. Maybe that's the very reason you shouldn't do it. You are so passionate about this that I fear. But sir, I was, I'm only expressing what I feel in my heart. And sometimes your heart can affect the way your head thinks. Terry, you're a reporter and you must remain objective. And I will. Give me the chance to prove it. I'll talk to Aisha about it. Thank you. The station brought to you by Nescafe. Stick Nescafe Classic. A genuine pleasure to share with your friends.
Stick Nescafe Classic. Enjoy it whenever, wherever and however you want it. Nescafe. Taste the coffee side of life. I was asked to come back today. For? I have my tips for Mrs. Abdullahi. Okay, I'll tell her you're here. M.M. Eshet reporting for Horizon TV News. Is that the only report you did for Horizon TV? I did many others. I just brought this one. How much did you pay the cameraman to shoot it for you? Well, I'm curious. Why would a young innocent lady like you go to all this trouble just to perpetrate a fraud like this? I learned that you worked for Horizon TV as a typist and you worked with them for only two weeks and disappeared. Don't cry. Just tell us what is going on. I'm sorry, Madam. I... Calm down. Why did you do it? <laughs> You're funny, Sha. Anyway, Landry, you're still with Skylight, right? Oh, okay. Because there's someone I'd really love for you to hook me up with. Verizon TV was the seventh place I worked, and it was the same thing. The boss wanted me to sleep with him, and when I refused, I was sad. But why pretend to be a reporter? I was desperate. I didn't mean to cause any trouble. I'm sorry. This is a lie. A deception. You realize that? You mean you go about claiming to be watching, not just to get a job? I was desperate. What you have done is very wrong. You shouldn't let desperation push you into fraudulent acts. What if you begin to get used to it? This is totally unacceptable. It is not the best way to go when you want to get things. I'm now going to send you home. Hmm? We will get back to you. That was a close shave. We almost employed a pretender. Poor thing. She was never given a chance to prove herself. Don't tell me you believe her. Cecilia is vouching for her, aren't you, Cecilia? What? You're not thinking of employing her, are you? Her report might be a fraud. But if you ask me, that was one well-delivered fraud. No, don't get me wrong. I don't support her one bit, but if she could be this good as a reporter or as a fake reporter, think of how well she, is, she could be if she was trained. When are you going to the hospital? First thing tomorrow morning. Same gist you gave yesterday. I said I forgot. <laughs> well, life, if you don't go tomorrow, I'll personally call that boyfriend of yours and give him a real talking to If you can. I don't have to wait until tomorrow to bout mouth him. Hey, oh, baby, baby. Hi, dear. Hi. 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 What's How's it? Very fine, very fine. And I most definitely are giving a pleasant <laughs> surprise, right? <laughs> of course you do. I must stay. This is my boyfriend, Bolo. Must have my best friend in the station. Hi, hello. Hi, it's Bolo. They call me the master lyricist. You know why? Because I'm good with words. You must have seen my <laughs> music video on television. I must have. Yeah, you must um, have. All right, Mustafa, good night. Um, let's go. No, 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 honey, wait. Why are you so hurry? You know, let the brothers get to know themselves first. I understand. Just that I have to go home on time. Mom, see, I know that. No, 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 girl. But chill, okay? You don't have to take a public transport today. I'll drop you off. Am I right, girl? I know. Mom, see, I have to go. Let's go. She says she's in a hurry. Yeah, yeah. Guess what, my man? Forget about these babies and your gist. <laughs> By the time I take her to my house now, she'll forget about going home. Yeah, I can see you almost true. Why don't we get to the bar and have a drink? On me, of course. I'll pay. I'm in a hurry myself. You see, that's it. I don't know. I don't I just don't know with you guys in the news. I don't know. You you're so damn stiff. Relax. You know, you guys are on the wrong side of the media business. I think it's high time you come over to the wide side. Let us say the bowl of sir. I cannot sing to save my life. I'm sorry. Sorry. This is a coup. Sir, <laughs> so you said in front of everyone that was going to cover the Niger Delta Conference. When you changed your mind, you could at least have called me aside and warned me. My apologies. Ash and I felt he needed to do things to get it off his chest. Sorry I didn't uh, inform you earlier. I had so much on my mind. Oh, Danny, I'm ready now. Let's get going. We don't want to miss our flight. I don't know why you want us to leave this early. The conference doesn't start until tomorrow. I'm sure he doesn't want us to change his mind. That's why he's running. <laughs> Emeka, look, no hard feelings, huh? 
Um, how would you like to produce a program? Yeah. I really? can I read something with Osara. What time? And you'll be there? Oh, perfect, perfect. Laura, you don't know how much this means to me. I owe you one. No, you see, actually, I owe you big time. I'll see you there then. All right, darling. Yeah, bye. Hey, Musti. Come on. How's your work coming on? Correct. And I can see you're as busy as a bumblebee. Can't blame me. I don't intend to let a man do a woman's job. Oh, that's what you think all this stuff is about? Well, you guys always seem to think it's your world. Hey. Look, it's got nothing to do with male ego. Only married. And I've got the skills and everything up here. And well, like that's what Mr. Osaro will be looking at, not our gender. Really? So you're very happy that the Today Show has a very efficient interim producer for the next edition? Huh? Let's see you in action first. Have you seen this? We should go to the hotel and rest. We've not come all this way to go to your village. Please! It's not my village. It's a nearby town where I taught in the secondary school for a year. Just come and see the conditions people around here live in. That is not what I've been sent here to do. Yes, but what harm will it do to you if you just come and see? Ha! Ah. Larry, you are looking so good. But never good enough for you, right? <laughs> Can't I compliment an old friend anyway? And that's the Sorry. problem. Compliment is all I ever get from you. Anyways, remember our arrangement now. Yeah? No. I casually walk past the seats that I stop. When I do that, we do the long time no see thing. Remember now, La Rio, do a ray, you know, like that. Then you introduce me to the other colleagues. You have to tell them I'm a young, bright woman working with AM, and especially to Mr. Anduche. And after that? After that, leave the rest to me. That seems good enough. I better get out of here before the others start to run. Oh, no. <gasps> oh my Holy god, it's. <laughs> Hi, how are you? What are you up to? Um, hello, okay, I'm here. <laughs> you look like gold, wow. I know. <laughs> so, how are you? Well, I can say my goal is within reach. Yeah, I know. <clears throat> and if we're all in it, this is Sydney's hour. Girl, your name is like a household. Please, I'm sure I'm sure not even that popular. Well, you have, you're making money at least. No, it's just as far as the glamour goes. Don't tell me you don't have a sleep jeep packed out there. Well now, let me take you for a ride in my C class. Oh, for bigger locations, M class. I just love Ben's cars. <laughs> really? So what? What do you do? Oh, um, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm a contractor. What kind of contractor? Well, you know, I'm into a lot of things, Shah. You know, actually, I'm here to uh, see some. It's a guy about some very potentially lucrative business. So how about you? Yeah, yeah. Um, well, I'm actually here for the same thing. I'm supposed to meet someone here. Hopefully, she give me some good news. Well, that's great. Uh, yes, you. Oh, you great. Thank you, Mama. Thank you, Mama. They are with us, so I don't get better food to give for now. Oh, one. Mama, we understand. We know how things be now. Uh. Sorry. Uh. They say mosquito coin at 20 naira, no credit. Ah, uh, if you ask me before you go now. Uh. Our visitor, give us some money to buy something. Mama, I know like what you talk now. I know be visitor for this house. I be member of this family. Don't know this is why I say make a consumer before I go anywhere. Ah, well, let me go outside and do something. This is um, Ero, my former student. I told you about. Ero, has he taught you the shrewd art of persuasion and coercion? <laughs> I sure say for teachers that one. If the sour school no collapse, uh, collapse. Yes, yeah, so. My teaching career came to an abrupt end when, an, when the storm blew the school down. After waiting for six months and no sign of it being rebuilt, I gave up and left. Um, I would like to visit the school before I go back to Basel. Well, you can go, but you won't find a school there. Uh, till now? The one no thing that happened to our people. A whole school fall, nobody noticed. Till now, never finish SS2. Hey, now, wow. Uh, <laughs> I beg, I beg, I beg. Go buy two mosquito coins so that my good friend Daniel will sleep well. Buy three. It looks like the mosquitoes here have farm. <laughs> ah, brother Daniel. Welcome to the world where they force us to live and say no could not complain. Is it from Tari you have learned to complain like this? Why not find a solution instead? Do something. I'm doing something actually. <laughs> I am very scared. Scared? Yeah. Of what? The last time you had this was a. Uh... Oh, come on. Now. Don't worry, it's, it's, it's not like that, it's not like that. It's kind of related, but you see, I have asked 
to be removed from all decisions concerning AMUs in the future. No, I didn't ask you. I know you did not. It's something I need to do. I hope it wouldn't pro uh, create problems for you in the office. Oh, uh, anyhow, so right. Well. For you, anything. What is it you are doing? Ross, forget. I don't need to talk too much. But just know that when the ground will start to shake, you will know that the youth in this town are not sleeping again. But what are you planning to do now that you are awake? Bros D, forget her. Well, maybe you'll be careful before you do anything rash. What you consider your best reaction may not be in your favor in the long run. This doesn't seem too right. <laughs> Daniel, look around you. Don't you think these youths have a right to be bitter? Season seems to bring out the worst in it, so it's alright. Oh, you'd rather dinner, right? Eh? Okay. Well, haven't you heard? Like, back in the Now, are you going to take my telephone number so we can meet and catch up? Oh, yeah. Or do I have to? Okay, things are bad. But can't you do some things for yourself? Something like what? Eh, bros, everyone will be saying it as if we're the one refusing to help ourselves. Oh. Okay, make I ask you, bros, bros D. We are the resources. We have human resources. Plus, now human good job. The people here are without any form of education or training, Daniel. But do you need a formal education to be able to use your brain and your hands? We they use our brain and our hand. Okay, we they do rally. We they do protest. We no, they even no, 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 I mean collaborating with the companies operating in your town. Is you not the person that wants to work with you? You work with Daniel. Make an effort first. And you find yeah, out. Game over, yeah, Go back to the venue of the Niger Delta Conference in Port Harcourt, where Terry Peppel brings a live closing report. Terry. Thank you, FA. The conference just ended with a 10 point plan on how to arrest the incidents of violence against the oil companies in the Niger Delta. However, yes, several sir. community groups I'm have expressed dissatisfaction with the outcome of this conference, describing its proceeding as a festival of excuses. They say that this yearly conference do not impact on the lives of the ordinary people in the Niger Delta. Government officials, on the other hand, insist that the recommendation of the conference, if followed to the letter, is the solution to the Niger Delta issue. What is certain at this moment, though, is that the indigents themselves are not only skeptical, but angry at the neglect of their people. With this prevailing mood, violence may not only be expected, it may actually be justifiable. Tyree Peppel, reporting for Action News. Tyree? No, not you there. I'll call you back later. Yes, sir. But, sir, I was only trying to express... M yes, sir. Okay, sir. Yeah. He says my closing remarks were unprofessional. What? What did I say wrong? Osara was simply reminding me that you are a reporter and not an advocate. Daniel, I am tired of conferences that achieve nothing. You are proving his point. That is your bias blinded to everything but what you want to see. He was simply reminding you that of the professional obligations. You were practically encouraging the people to rebel. Yes. Excuse me. Hello? Ah. When was that? Okay, okay, relax, relax. We're on our way, we're on our way, we're on our way. Driver, yes. you are going to come at okay. What happened? He wrote Paul. He says they need for a hot story. Let's go. Okay, get the story. And don't, I repeat, don't embellish it. There's been an outbreak, outbreak of violence at Kumabi Town and they're going to cover it. I'm calling that Bolo guy right now and no, I'm telling him. Stefan, no, no, no. I said I forgot to tell him. So what's up with the test? I will see the doctor tomorrow. Don't you understand? So you better find out soon as well. No. In case it's something you need to treat fast. Don't you. 
Have you guys finished with my proposal? Um, not yet finished, sir. Not yet finished with flirting of my proposal. You'll get it tomorrow, sir. Inka, I've read the bridges. You seem to be finally making progress. Some causes caught my attention and I'll let one end come. I'll purchase the four. Inka, thank you. After we don't fight with government, finish. For them to give us life for our community. They go agree, say they go give us the life. Say now, person, our own entity here, and I go be the contractor. So that when they bring the work, the, the, the work boys like this, it says all of us gather here. We go do the work, get small on Janja, move our back pocket. Now he cause the problem. So, they don't keep the work from behind. And how? Imagine. They take the contracts, give another town person. Onto the the mind say then go take why you knock us come on for the for, for, for the whole contract. Lila. Hmm. No. Okay, that's the next thing. Alright. We don't lock up. Yes. We not say you now. We not say then. Yes. yes. Like we get to finish. Wow. 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 Daniel, simple. You see what I was telling you about? And you say I am being biased. Hmm. Let's get the whole story. Hey, yo. Who fit to tell us that the whole story be? Ah. They get one bros. We they feel with him, we young people they feel. These bros they relate well. They call him Chama. Chama. It's a wonder you didn't become a showbiz person. That's what everybody thought you were going to do. You know? I just couldn't have the courage of going through years of rigors and paying my dues just to get ahead in the industry. <laughs> Hard so, work makes one. Mm -mm. Uh -huh. Let's not go there. We know you're the fanatic, hardworking, overachieving. Uh -uh. But it's true. I mean, I just didn't have all the energy for that in school. But look at me now. I'm making so much money like I never did before. <laughs> well, I'm doing what I've always wanted to do. And with time, the cash will flow too. I have this new women's show. I'm about to start producing and hosting. You could be my first feature, you know. We could talk about how women could rise from nothing to something. And there she goes again. Can't we just talk about something else other than you? I mean, work? Chairman, I am told you are concerned with the issues affecting the young people in this town. Oh, well, yes. I have always been concerned about their welfare. Believe it or not, I was once a youth myself. I do all I can to help them. I even stand on the people I know. I sponsor them. There's only so much for one person to do to help them. So they get frustrated. Um, chairman, is this what has happened this time? They have their method are a little questionable. But can you blame them? What are their options? These young men suffer acute poverty. There's no job. And now that they thought that that's the work that they can do, the opportunity is stolen from them. So how do I get hold of those photographer boys? Ask the person who trained them. Johnny will know. Are you sure still in contact with them? Johnny Bravo turns two area boys into photographers and loses contact with them. Impossible. Okay, I'll contact them by this evening and then I'll write. Oh, we'll write. Good, thanks. But am I not being democratic? If you say so. So we could not be a permanent producer of the show, eh? Small, small in Mecca. Prove yourself with this one first. This community is suffering from unemployment and poverty. The electrification project is supposed to be a real opportunity for the youth to earn money and help their suffering families. But this opportunity is seized. So the youth are angry. So the authority has to do something otherwise. This is full of accusation against the authorities and the contract awarding company. They are being cheated, Daniel. Osara won't run this. Let's talk to the electrical company. They will lie as usual. There's nothing like having an open okay, mind. Okay, okay, fine. I'll call and try to book an appointment with them. Has Mr. Aldecha been said anything about me yet? Not much, but he did say you were a very interesting young lady. And you know what I think? I'm sure he will tell you of us you are the best person to do the job. Hmm. Yeah. There was someone you were talking with when you were leaving the restaurant. You mean Maureen? She's a childhood friend. I haven't seen her in years. Yes, I know of her. I see her in town. She's so successful right now. I'm very happy for her. <laughs> and that depends on how you define success. Are you sure we're talking about the same Maureen here? My friend is cruising Benzes. She's a successful contractor. She just supplied ACs for the government house. 
Oh. Are you sure you knew the Maria I'm talking She's about? a contractor, all right. But not of AC. I'm sorry to say. Definitely not of AC. Are you the reporter? And you must be the PRO of the electrification company. Yes, I You am. said we couldn't meet at your office. Yes, I'm afraid the community people are a little restless. Just like you mentioned on Don't you think they have a right to be? They feel they have been passing something that would have um, brought job opportunities to the community. And um, how did you award the contract? Open bidding. Open bidding to anyone from anywhere. Only the most qualified applicants got the contract. And was there any qualified contractor in Kumabe Town? Kumabe Town? Yes, yes. Kumabe. There was one bidder from Kumabe Town, but he was not successful. And who is this person? Uh, let me show you my bidder's list. Um, okay. Uh, number six, Levi Woruka. Chairman. And please, can I have a copy? Okay, I think I have a lot. Uh, I have another copy here. Thank you very Please much. This is Nainim. Are you saying you didn't know? It was the moon. See, we want to say chairman they tried to watch the contract. Because he told us that there are people in this town who can do it. But he didn't tell us he wants the contract too. So, he tried to get the contract but he wasn't qualified. Then he tells you people to go and frustrate the work of the next company. Yeah? Bros, he only told us that we are fighting to get the work for us. He takes everybody from him, huh? It's time to turn the tables on him. Inka. You have some boys looking for you out there. Oh, Tao and Elonge. You don't know them? Mm -hmm. <laughs> of course they look like Galala artists. I must have seen them on TV. No, they're not Galala artists. They're Johnny's area boys. Oh, the photographers. Exactly. I knew I had seen them on TV. They're featuring on tonight's show. Have you guys become movie artists? Stars? <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Sorry, sorry, please. Please, sorry. How do you know I'm here? And you want to you to see the interview now? What happened? Um, Chairman, we had to take another interview to complete the story. Uh -huh. Excellent. At this time, we should not do it. Definitely, definitely. Excellent. Um, so, what do you have now? Um, sir, it's about the electrification com um, contract. We'd like to know if there were any qualified contractors in this town who could have handled it. Ah, there are many. So many. And um, are you a qualified contractor? I'm not a contractor. And so that means you did not bid for the contract. Please, wait for us outside. No, why are you asking me this? I am asking because we went to the electrification company that awarded the contract. They showed us a list of people who bid it. And your name follow. Put this camera off. One of us should get out of this little place. The chairman, sir. Any comments? I said get out of this place before I come. That was just before. You have been cheating the people of this town, huh? Get out of here. The man is a crook. He used your rope. And he almost used me. From being on the street, feeling helpless, and believing that there's nothing left for them in this life, these young men have taken the courage to make something out of their life. As up and coming photographers, they are now making a positive and honest living. Tao, Alonge, have you been in contact with your area boys? We have not seen them too much since we left the area work. We have been busy with the photo work complete. People always call us for job. So we are very busy every time. But when we have time, sure, we try to see them. Well, we do hope their former friends will take to heart from hearing of their positive development. The station brought to you by Nescafe. Come on, people. It's our awesome cereal. Nestle Golden Morn, delicious and tasty wholesome instant cereal everyone can enjoy any time of the day. Nestle Golden Morn, highly nutritious, simply delicious. This incident has been a shameful exploitation of a people's poor condition by a selfish man. This has been Tyree Peppel reporting for Action News.
Now we have a story that doesn't reek of bias. <laughs> Chairman saw that the youth were angry and frustrated, and he exploited that. Hmm. Well, they, that may be true, but at the same time, they shouldn't have accepted what he said without questioning it. Well, the same goes for me as well. I was so caught up in my personal beliefs that I was almost used. In Kumare town near Port Harcourt, the group of young men invited the police and pointed out Levi Worika as the instigator of the hijacking of the electrification construction sites. Levi Worika, also known as chairman, has been arrested and construction has resumed on the site. Correspondent Terry Pebble covered this event and has filed this report. Terry. Levi Worika fooled us. He made us think we are fighting for ourselves. He told us it was for our own benefit. Meanwhile, he had a personal agenda. This thing will happen now, don't open my eye. You know, when person come, tell you, say, he won't help you. Eh? But say you go do what you, what you want, what he wants you to do. You go sit down, think well, open your eye. What did they happen for you? We are this motor from come. Our motor? You just want to think about this motor, so. Oh, God, not disturb me. I don't want. Wait, wait. You think they will not fit for this motor? We become my chance. You are not my chance. You are thieves. You guys are thieves. Okay, I just charge you small money. You know, so you have a customer. Montana, me too. I know. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Oga. You don't have to tell me anything. I know I have no more excuses. I'm going to see the doctor first thing tomorrow morning. Yeah! <laughs> hey, Yeah! Oh, shoot. 